I fly the Ingenuity helicopter. What I've been working on in my role is a lot of scouting missions where we'll send the helicopter up to take photos of terrain that the rover might be driving over in the future. The Ingenuity helicopter doesn't look exactly like a helicopter like you might see on Earth. It's sort of the shape of a tissue box with four long spindly legs and it has a pair of rotors above the main fuselage that are far wider than the helicopter itself. These two rotors allow it to generate a lot more lift than you would need for an earthbound helicopter because the air on Mars is so thin and the gravity is slightly lower that we need to push really hard to actually be able to get up into the air. There's a lot of work that goes into flying a helicopter on a different planet. We have a system of radio dishes called the Deep Space Network, and we use those to send commands and receive data from the different rovers that we have on Mars, and the Perseverance rover is sort of the parent of the Ingenuity helicopter and all communications with the helicopter goes through that rover. There's a lot of work that goes into looking at the data coming in from the rover and from the helicopter to assess, is the helicopter healthy? Is it ready to go? Does it have enough power for another flight? We look at that data and we're able to put together a plan of what we want to do for a given day. Once we have that plan put together, we're able to write a sequence of commands that walk it through step by step of what to do, and then we send it on up. When we look at Mars, we can see a lot of preserved history that we don't see on Earth. On Earth, we have all of these processes, rain and waves and all sorts of different things that mulch up the ground and change it. On Mars, the rocks are pretty much the same as they've been for millions or even billions of years and we can see far deeper into Mars's history, which can teach us a lot in turn about Earth's history.